This is Fred. Fred has been drinking alcohol. This is Fred's car. Driving after you've consumed alcohol is not a good idea. There are many effects alcohol would have on Fred's body if he chose to drive. These include making it difficult to concentrate, his reaction time would be slow. His ability to multitask would be reduced. This would also affect his vision and hearing. He would feel either overconfident or too relaxed. Being overconfident would lead to danger and being too relaxed would lead to sleep. Simple tasks with no alcohol consumption can be found difficult. This is why it's not safe to drink and drive. Fred's family would also be affected if he was involved in a serious accident. Firstly, they would be sad and worried. They would also question, why us? Why, why is our loved one involved in this crash? And Fred would not be around in their daily lives. Hey Fred, you can always come back and collect your car later. How about you call someone to take you home? Look, it's Fred's sister and she has not consumed any alcohol. How about you let your sister drive you home? See Fred, you're home safe and sound. According to the MUARC study, from 2000 to 2011 in Victoria and New South Wales, 13.5% of crashes occurred because of intoxication. And in Queensland, from 2007 to 2008, 3 million people were breath tested. Out of those 3 million people, 32,000 of them were over the legal limit. Don't drink and drive. Don't put yourself and others in danger. Why do people 18 to 25 years old have higher death rates due to drink driving than old people? Firstly, they're not mature. This is because their brains are not fully developed yet. They have had no experience, unlike older people who might, might have had a bad experience or a dangerous experience. They're not aware they can't tell that they are over the alcohol limit. And they're not educated on safe choices. These are all the reasons why people 18 to 25 years old have higher death rates due to drink driving. 